Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. We're humbled, Lord, by all the graces we've received. We're awestruck and awakened to, well, we can't see all the possibilities. Only your eye can see that. But we are amazed at all the things that you've called us to do, that you've called us through, that you've seen us, Lord, encounter and struggle with. And Lord, here we are. And we're, we're still struggling with some things. We struggle with the hardships that some people face. We can't figure out why the hardships that we're facing. And, and, and the reasons, Lord, are, are beyond us and they, they, they are, are stumbling blocks to our faith. And yet, Lord, when we come to understand your will and your way, our faith is strengthened. And we pray for that strengthening today. We pray that we will see that the foundation we are on is not as weak as the world wants to make it out to be, that you are a sure foundation, that putting our trust in you is not some foolish thing, but Lord, that they are fools to say there is no God. Oh Lord, we pray for those that have such emptiness in their lives. And Lord, that are so fixated on mortal things that they can't look past to, to, to see not just what they're not, but to see past to where you are calling them to be beyond what we are, but to the potential that your love creates. Lord, we pray for your church in the way that it has struggled, especially in the last century, struggled as it's lost its position of worldly power, struggled because it has had to redefine its faith in light of, 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 of controversy, in light of betrayals, in light of deception. Lord, let us make our changes based on your word and the inspiration of your Holy Spirit and put these controversies to right and admit our faults and grow the church to be a more honest structure, more than just another institution in the world, but a gathering of your people just as your Holy Spirit calls us. Lord, we pray for the many callings together that people face in their life, whether it's in politics or in employment or in families, Lord, that these will be gatherings of joy and of peace. Lord, we pray for those that are fragmented, that those are so competitive, that those are so valueless, that people just push the goodness in their life aside for, for false images of, of what they want. Lord, we pray for a way through our difficult times and our need for discerning, Lord. Let us be guided and uplifted in your Holy Spirit unto truth and the blessings of your holy kingdom. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And God's word comes to us today from the book of Matthew. Matthew, reading chapter 10 and verse 14. It says, and this is Jesus speaking, saying, And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or that city, shake off the dust off your feet. And this has been a week of talking a lot about dust since Ash Wednesday. I still have the ashes here. There's some dust. And... The whole idea that Jesus has about shaking that dust is to shake any remnant of that which was filthy in your life, that which was filthy before God, to shake those things off from your life, to say, I'm leaving that behind. I'm leaving that in God's hands. And it doesn't just have to be people. It can be situations. It can, it can be cultures. And we have a hard time doing that in, in our discerning of what is right and what is wrong, to be able to set certain things aside and say, you know, that was so wrong, I have to leave it behind, leave it behind forever, leave it in God's hands. It's not my problem anymore. And especially when you've gone through that, that hardship yourself, that personal hardship where people have rejected what you have had to say, and maybe they rejected it because you were wrong. That may be something you have to face. But when, it's, when you're speaking about God's word and you're trying to work in a worshipful setting, in a worshipful community, and you're trying to reach out with the, with the word of God to, to bring goodness and uplifting to people's lives, and it's rejected, you've got to find a way to put that aside and say, Lord, I did my part. Maybe you planted a seed you don't know about. This is in your hands. And 
if they have rejected the Lord's will, then God's going to deal with it. And it is better if they had been in Sodom or Gomorrah than to be where they are on the day of judgment. And let your peace be your peace. And let it stay with you and uplift you and strengthen you for the next time you are called to stand and give testimony and live your life as a witness of God's love. May you have peace. God bless and keep you. Amen.